Hello and happy sketching! This time we are not going to sketch, but we are going to prove if our sketch can prove itself in the layout with other things. That's why we are going to do a layout with some items that we have on our drawing tables. I have here some ink, a booklet and my aquarelle paint box, some utensils to draw and a scissor. I want to make a layout and what does it mean to do a layout? Okay, I take all the stuff away. My uh, stage is the table. I want to find out which one of those sketches is better, the first one or the second one. And that's why I arrange them in a context uh, as if they would be a part of a book. So what is the main thing when you do a layout in a book or a newspaper? You have a grid. Whatever you do, you have a grid. Meaning a grid has horizontal lines like floors that hold a building and you have columns like houses that hold uh, the structure of a house. So wherever you put your stuff, here is my camel. It's not looking to this side because, yeah, it could be. So in this direction, it would like look to the coming, but I would like him to orient to the sketches. That's why I'm putting him here or even a part more to the left here. And then I have the two pictures. I'd like to have the, to have them some more, something like similarly. I have a Copic marker to shade my drawings. But actually I want to put it together with the crayon, something that has not that much contrast to the background. What can I do? with my scissors owned or with my paint box. I put it here, this paint box. It's leaping out of the structure. So, but this doesn't matter because uh, this is the part that is not that important. I'm putting the scissors here. So this is oriented to the right as well. And maybe I can put this down. I align all the stuff. I lean all the stuff to the grid so that it goes here. That is an imaginary line. But uh, since we do all the stuff into the grid, we should put all the stuffs other stuff out of the grid so I can even amount things or shall I put it like this okay so here I have a column that goes through but not totally but it goes through here I have a column as well but actually what I think is very important to know is that you do not have to apply the rule of using a grid totally so you can always five percent go out of the grid and then it looks even nicer and yeah now i have the problem that i have almost nothing in the middle how can i solve this problem i need something with a little bit of contrast i could put it here something like this Oops, oops, oops. Yeah, why not? Maybe this wasn't a good idea to put it here. Maybe it would be nicer to have it open without anything going to the border on the right side. Yeah, something like this. So when I have arranged all the stuff, 
that I have the feeling afterwards it's settled on this background, then I have something that we can call a layout that is working for our stuff. And now is the questions. question when I have all put together in my layout. Which one of the drawing is the better one? What do you think? Yeah, it's all about contrast. So here you have more contrast. You have thicker line, more black on the line, then it's uh, even better. And I do now something I enhance the contrast again, and you see it's even more compelling. I do the similar thing here. Well, actually, you can easily find out this doesn't work because the lines are too faint. We lose the picture of a cat. Uh, how can we solve this? That's not so easy. We can take more black, same lines, same lines because the lines are not a problem, but the darkness of the lines are the problem. I just pronounce the lines a little bit more. And here you see what can happen, what happens. Now it's e more easy to detect than it is a cat and now it works better. So what we can learn from this is that we have really to apply contrasts and then uh, our drawings speak a concise language and this is what we want in our drawings. Try out, make the same thing, put them to some layout stuff, whatever you have on your desk. And step one, path, uh, one meter back and look at it and tell yourself which, uh, which line is the best for a good appearance in layouting. Happy sketching.